good looks, a reasonably spec processor and a gimbal camera system. Now these three things define the Vivo X60 Pro. Now, it is available in a single variant only with 12 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage and it is priced at 49,990 rupees. Now that puts it up against the OnePlus 9. So which is a better choice? Well, let's find out. Hello everyone, I'm Aditya, you're watching Gadgets360 and this is the full review of the Vivo X60 Pro. Let's start with the design of the X60 Pro because that perhaps is one of the biggest highlights of this package. It looks similar to its predecessor, the Vivo X50 Pro. So it's safe to say that the design is largely unchanged. But this isn't an issue since it still looks appealing. If you're one of those who still enjoy a curved display, you can rejoice as this smartphone has a 6.56 inch AMOLED display that will remind you of older Samsung Galaxy S series smartphones. This gives the illusion of the side bezels being smaller, giving the panel an edge to edge feel. The display is protected by Scott Sensation Up Glass, but at the back you have Corning Gorilla Glass 6, so it should be able to withstand scratches and small accidental drops. We like the fact that the back panel has a matte finish which helps keep fingerprints off the device. However, the Vivo X60 Pro does not have any waterproofing and does not get an IP rating either. Now, this is something that I would expect on a smartphone at this price point. It also lacks wireless charging. That curved AMOLED display sports Full HD Plus resolution and has a maximum refresh rate of 120Hz. You get the option to either choose the refresh rate or leave it on smart switch. You also get a 240Hz touch sampling rate for the display. All this makes scrolling buttery smooth. The display itself is crisp with excellent viewing angles and good brightness. Watching videos on this display panel felt engaging, but a stereo speaker setup would have enhanced the experience further. Underneath the display sits an in-display fingerprint scanner which is quick to unlock the phone. It never needed a second attempt in my experience. In terms of specs, the Vivo X60 Pro rocks the Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 SoC. This is paired with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage. Interestingly, Vivo has also introduced Virtual RAM with the Vivo X60 Pro, which basically uses about 3GB of storage space as Virtual RAM. You can switch this option off and reclaim the 3GB of storage if required. In terms of connectivity, you get dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.1, 4G VO LTE and 5G, but it misses out on NFC. Now, all of this hardware runs Funtouch OS 11.1 based on Android 11. The UI does have a few changes compared to stock Android, but I found it very easy to use. You do have a fair share of bloat and app notifications here, which I found to be a little annoying. Nevertheless, the Vivo X60 Pro delivered excellent performance without any lag or stutter. The UI felt smooth and responsive while scrolling through menus. When it comes to virtual RAM, it is a neat concept in theory, but you'll have to push the X60 Pro to its limits to see any noticeable difference in performance, since the 12GB of RAM is more than adequate. Gaming performance is good too. Now, Call of Duty Mobile ran well with the graphics set to very high and frame rate set to high, and I did not notice any stutter during gameplay. It did get slightly warm after playing for a while, but nothing alarming. I played the game for 30 minutes and noticed a 9% battery drop. Speaking of which, you get a 4200 mAh battery that is decent given how slim the phone is. Vivo has bundled a 33W charger which takes the X60 Pro from 0 to 53% in 30 minutes and 96% in an hour. With my usage, I had to charge the X60 Pro every other day and that wasn't a big issue. Excessive gaming and camera usage tends to drain the battery a bit faster, so you might need to plug the phone in sooner depending on your use. The smartphone lasted 14 hours and 56 minutes in our HD video look test, which is a decent score given its relatively small battery capacity. Now, if you've been enjoying the review so far, 
do hit that like button and if you're not subscribed to Gadgets 360 well do that and hit the bell icon so that you are notified whenever we upload a fresh review. Now let's talk about the Zeiss branded camera module. You have a triple camera setup with a 48 megapixel primary, Sony IMX 598 sensor and gimbal stabilization. This basically means that the sensor is capable of physically moving to compensate for minor shakes while shooting photos and recording videos. Accompanying this is a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and a 13 megapixel portrait camera. Daylight photos shot with the Vivo X60 Pro were good and had good details in the highlights while shadows were underexposed and not as sharp. There was a noticeable drop in the image quality while using the ultra wide angle camera, although it seemed to meter light better. Now you have the option to shoot photos at full resolution, resulting in a 48 megapixel shot that takes the phone about 2 seconds to capture. The output had better details compared to the default 12 megapixel shots, but the grain was visible at 100% magnification on screen. Close up shots were good with adequate detail and a soft depth of field for the background. The AI seems to boost contrast very slightly. The camera app switches to macro mode automatically when you go too close to a subject. The resulting 13 megapixel macros had good detail too. The portraits taken with the 13 megapixel portrait camera were crisp and it managed good edge detection. Now beautification is enabled by default and this smoothens the output. Low light camera performance was good and the phone did not take too long to capture a shot. Now it managed decent performance but details weren't as sharp as I would have liked. The night mode managed slightly better details than the regular photo mode. Now selfies shot using the 32 megapixel front camera were crisp in daylight as well as low light. You can take selfie portraits as well and the phone could detect faces even with masks on. Photos had good edge detection and I could set the level of blur before I took a portrait selfie. Video recording tops out at 4K for the primary camera and 1080p for the selfie shooter. Thanks to the gimbal stabilization system, the Vivo X60 Pro could stabilize footage at all resolutions. There are two stabilization modes, standard and super anti-shake. Now the standard mode works well to stabilize footage while you're walking, while the super anti-shake mode can be used while pacing. Now the X60 Pro did manage to smoothen footage quite well while I was walking but running around with the camera was a bit too much for the camera to manage. Even in low light, the X60 Pro did a good job at stabilizing the video with only occasional shimmer in the output. Now it's time to rate the Vivo X60 Pro and give our final verdict on it. Now this smartphone is a good successor to the Vivo X50 Pro and improves in the performance department that the latter lacked in. The photo and video quality have also been improved, but its pricing puts it right up against the OnePlus 9 and the Mi 11X Pro. Your choice of smartphone in this price range will completely depend on your expectations. The OnePlus 9 packs in a more powerful processor and could offer better software updates based on OnePlus's track record. You also have the ROG Phone 5 in the same price point, which is an outright gaming smartphone that is purpose-built. The main strength of the Vivo X60 Pro is its gimbal camera system, which helps stabilize videos really well. So if you are someone who shoots a lot of videos, then the Vivo X60 Pro will do just fine. And that was my review of this Vivo X60 Pro. Now, what do you think about this smartphone? Well, do let me know that in the comment section down below. And as always, for all things tech, stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.